I feel like I've been kind of lying this entire time, sharing my truth, you know, being real. Hey everyone, good morning, or if it's not your morning, then hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Doris Sack, I'm doing motherhood and lifestyle videos, and today I'm doing a video like no other. I woke up with an urge to come here and sit down and just chat. Foxy, my boy, is sitting right next to me, I'm gonna put him to sleep in a few minutes. So I thought I'm gonna come on here and just um, just update you on my life because a lot of things have changed and I feel like I need to be completely honest with what's going on and just to level our expectations. YouTube always kind of show the more fun and happy side of life which I most of the time want to see but sometimes motherhood life is really low and I wanted to share that too. I mean like I didn't sleep for almost a week. Today it's that kind of day that I just woke up and I want to put something on my face that's really natural, unnoticeable, but it's still there and make me feel a little bit more put together and I don't want to sound really superficial but yeah makeup does make me feel a lot better so I'm gonna put on some makeup and um, share with you a few things that I have on my heart. I'm gonna use Merit's products, some of Merit's products, not all of them. Um, they did send me this gorgeous makeup bag with most of their products to try out. I'm gonna put some foundation because no one deserves to look at me like that for too long. <laughs> I'm gonna spare you from that. So this is their foundation. I took the color Send. I'm gonna take off my glasses. Mm. This is not sponsored by the way, not at all. They did send me these just to try out and see how I feel about them. And I do really like them, so here I am sharing. Not only they're clean from all the nasty stuff that usually is in makeup, it's really high quality and it's pretty much like a luxury clean brand, which I adore. Most of the products that I'm using are more clean and you know, good for your skin and not only just doing their job as makeup. So I really, really love the concept of the company. I love the packaging and the cutest bag ever. So if you want to check them out, I have a link down in the description box. I think I need to put him to sleep because he's exhausted. I'm going to go and put him down and be back in like a second. I don't remember what I was talking about. As you can see, this is very raw and um, impulsive kind of video. What I'm trying to say is that I really see a lot of edited and perfect motherhood lives. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because I feel like it puts on a lot of pressure on me and other moms to be perfect moms, which there's no such a thing. I think that the main reason why I wanted to come on here and talk about it, um, and it's not the only thing, I do have three things that I want to talk about, so it's because I received some comments on my Instagram saying, like, tell me what to do and things that I'm doing wrong. For example, with Fox, that he's not sleeping very well and I'm not sleeping very well. So some comments were really nice, like maybe you should do that or maybe you should do that, by the way. I'm using uh, Merit's um, cream blush, which is really good. But other were not only not helpful, but kind of like condescending and, you know, making me feel really bad. Okay, what I'm trying to really say is that I don't want to portray something that's not achievable on my channel. I do love sit down videos and like vlogs that are really nice and nicely edited because I do love to edit and I love to show like you know, nice and happy days, which we do have a lot, but I do want to show those low moments, like today when I woke up, no makeup, I felt like 
I still wanted to turn on the camera and share with you guys because I feel like that's super important so I do want to bring more of that into the channel I hope you're into that if you've been here for a while you know that I used to do lifestyle videos and then suddenly I started doing bullet journaling videos and I stuck to this bullet journaling videos because I felt like I'm bringing something that's new but now as a new mom I really don't have not only the time to sit down and do those you know extravagant bullet journaling themes I am not interested in that that much um, anymore I do use my bullet journal daily and I love bullet journaling it's a big part of my routine and my life but I don't feel like I can bring something of value to you guys and if i will miss it someday in the future i will probably just going to open a different channel just for bullet journaling but for now this is not something that i'm going to focus on so i wanted to be honest with you guys and especially after sharing the birth vlog which probably a lot of you are following me for that because it reached over a million views and i'm super grateful for all of you who watched and shared it's amazing to have that many views on such an intimate moment people are loving and sharing the biggest day of our lives okay i had to finish my makeup really quickly because i felt like um if i'm not gonna do that he might wake up and i'm not gonna be able to share everything that i want to share with you so i did that really quickly i'm gonna show you what i use first of all i'm gonna put on my glasses and i can see now this is my favorite product of the entire collection of merit it's the lip oil it's not only like beautiful packaging, it's just so nice. It's not sticky, I love it. I just love it. I feel like it's just the perfect color. I usually just put it and then tab it. And I also really love the eyebrow um, like brush thing. It's really good. Um, yeah, so back to our business. Oh no, he woke up. So I put you guys on the sill of the window, hopefully you're not gonna fall and hopefully you can hear me and see me well because I never put my camera on there, it's the first time so try new things, I think it's a good angle actually. Yeah, I just wanted to close the first thing that I wanted to talk about which is being real online, um, a real mom online which I don't see it quite often and I think it's really important to show that part of motherhood as well not only to not put so much pressure on, on new moms like myself to be so perfect all the time because we're doing the best that we can and as long as we're doing things out of love for our children that's all that matters you want to see the camera let's go closer to the camera hello hello people hello <laughs> i guess the second thing i want to talk about is the fact that i decided to quit my job i'm an interior designer if you didn't know and my job prior giving birth was very very demanding and pretty much crazy um so i decided to quit and be a full-time mom it's a whole story on its own but basically what happened is that it wasn't planned i really thought i'm gonna go back to work and my husband will stay with him and it was all kind of like planned and laid out in a perfect way that basically I didn't think it's going to fail but then I went back to work and I didn't have any milk supply I think it's because of the stress and the guilt the mom guilt really got into me and I couldn't function I couldn't sleep I basically felt like I couldn't be good at my job and I couldn't be good as being a mom at that way and I'm sure other moms are figuring it out really quickly or have no choice and I'm really lucky to have my husband to support me we both felt like this is the best way for us to move on after giving birth I don't know how long but probably till the end of the year that's that let me give him something to play with we have love every um, products here which he loves all their toys right anyway so how it will affect this channel 
obviously I'm gonna be home so a lot of home and motherhood content as I mentioned before and it will really allow me to dig in deep this motherhood lifestyle and yeah who knows maybe in six months I'll grow my channel a little bit more and maybe it will even become an income that I can rely on who knows I guess that big change lead to the third big change is that basically Lior is working so much more to cover the fact that I'm not working and we basically thought that by now by this time of the year the summer the house will be completely done and that's definitely not the case pretty much everything stopped when I gave birth which is like five months ago almost and then when I thought I will go back to work and Lior will stay here and work on the house when we decided quickly that that's not what's gonna happen basically Lior wasn't able to continue working on the house that quickly as we thought so except from this room that's completely done um, and I'm probably gonna do a um, nursery tour even this week as you can see behind me uh, there's no blue tape or anything which is really nice um, and refreshing because the rest of the house is a complete mess and so it was important for me to mention the fact that the house is not done because I feel like I've been kind of lying this entire time not lying just not sharing the entire truth or not you know sharing the real life of ours just because I was so kind of embarrassed that our house is like a mess and literally just yesterday we took our first shower in the first bathroom uh, up until now we used the basement bathroom which looks like a camping site and it's been like that for six months and like the most important six months of my life like the last week of pregnancy postpartum but every time that I was kind of embarrassed I stopped for a second and reminded myself that I'm so grateful to have this house it's our house I never thought I'm gonna own a house anytime soon and the fact that it happened before we brought Fox to the world I'm so grateful that we have a house for him and for us and for you know the family that we are growing and yeah that's pretty much the three things that I wanted to share with you not a big deal just being honest you know if you see blue tape behind me or beneath or above me or anywhere in this house it's because we're in the middle of renovations and it's gonna take a while and I do want to be open and clear and show more of my life and not trying to hide and find the perfect you know angle all the time because that's not real and that's not reality and if you see a messy house that's okay so yeah I really hope you enjoyed me sharing my truth and showing my bare face and you know being real I appreciate when other people do that on social media basically that's all I wanted to say so I'm gonna stop mumbling now and yeah if you are interested in those type of videos make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video I'm very nervous to post it and yeah we'll be here posting at least once a week and yeah that's it I'm gonna play with this little one and I'm gonna see you in the next video bye <laughs> bye guys <laughs>